Let's go. There's the spot, Watson. By night, Goulston Street is deathly silent, which will permit us to carry out a fair few experiments. Let's find the entrance where the piece of the victim's apron and the mysterious chalk message were found. Look at these signs, Watson. We are in the Jewish High Street. There's the spot where the apron and the message were found by PC Long. Now, let's recreate the scene. Remember, Watson, it was raining that night. Find me something with which to mimic raindrops hitting this wall while I write something with my chalk. The Jews are not the men that will be blamed for nothing. But what does it mean? Have you found something for us to pour water from, Watson? Find a container and some water. Let me remind you that it's night time and the street is deserted, Holmes. may come in handy, who knows? An old wooden pole. A merchant probably threw it out. may come in handy, who knows? A watering can, that's what I need. But I can't reach it. A watering can. That's what I need. But I can't reach it.
Yes, I have homes. If this message were written by the killer, then it would have been lying in this entrance for up to 35 minutes before being discovered. Let's find out in what state it must have been. This message could not have withstood an entire night in the rain. During the investigations carried out on the night of the double murder, PC Hulse inspected the entrances of this street around 2.20 a.m. and confirmed to have seen nothing out of the ordinary. At 2.55 a.m., 35 minutes later, PC Long found Catherine Eddow's piece of apron and the message in chalk. This message would not have withstood a whole night in the rain, as had I continued to water it for a little longer, I would certainly have erased it. It was written, therefore, at the moment when the piece of apron was dumped. This substantiates PC Hulse's statement, which stated he had seen neither of these during his rounds. After its discovery, it was guarded and protected from the rain which was subsiding, which explains why it was still legible when it was erased at half five. My dear Watson, when you met P.C. Smith on his rounds in the street, where was he? On the pavement or in the middle of the road? In the middle of the road, Holmes, without a shadow of a doubt. Good. You will go down the street with your lantern as if you were a policeman on patrol, using Smith's position as a guide. As soon as you see the entrance where I use the watering can, tell me if you see anything. I have no reason to go that way. I have no reason to go that way. No, you aren't in the right spot with the lamp, Watson. There, Holmes. From here, I can see something written. Can you read it? No. Do you see the white rag, Watson? I see something on the ground, but I'm not sure if it's what you were talking about. P.C. Long, who found the piece of apron, was examining the interior of the entrances, and yet nobody would have predicted that this piece of material would be discovered on the very night of the murder by a policeman on patrol. What are you trying to get at, Holmes? Let's look at this message on the wall, Watson. The Jews are not the men who shall be blamed for nothing. In other words, the Jews were possibly blamed for nothing, but that will no longer be the case. Reading this message naturally begs one question. What would that be, Watson? Why? Indeed, Watson, why? For what reason would one have the right to blame the Jews in the future? Remember, Liz Stride was killed near a club for socialist Jews, Edouse not far from the synagogue and the Imperial Club, and finally, this piece of apron dropped here. This building is occupied by Jewish families. The killer really did go out of his way to incriminate the Jews living in the area. It's a bit obvious, Holmes. Yes, but with the rumours, Watson, the author of this message would have received a response to his strategy. You are right, Holmes. So perhaps it's a good thing this message was erased. Whoever took the decision to do this is a man of great wisdom and courage. Let's return to Baker Street, Watson. I have some pipes to smoke to help me think more clearly. Let's go back to Baker Street. Home, sweet home. <laughs> 